children. Now it's time for you to come up and collect them uh, green flags that you will wave to you. collect the real offering, I want you to look as happy then <laughs> as you do when you're giving the kids their money. How many of you guys know what a lighthouse is? Okay. We got one um, that's right between, I think it's New Smyrna and Daytona. It's a lighthouse there. What's a lighthouse used for? Okay, what do you think? If there are boats out down the ocean, the light will give them light. That's right, so they know where they're going. There's a little girl named Mary. Her father was a lighthouse keeper. And he had to leave the lighthouse and go into town and get some groceries. So Mary's mother had passed away a couple years before that, so she was in the lighthouse by herself. So her father's plan was to go get the groceries, come back, and I see where the lighthouse was, it was right at the end of like a peninsula. And when the water would rise, it would rise over where you could walk to get from the lighthouse to the regular land. So he only had a small window of time to get off the lighthouse, go to the groceries, come back before the water covered where he would walk to get back. Okay? So he told her she'd be all right, he'd be back in plenty of time. He already made preparations to have the oil in the lighthouse lamps and the wicks trimmed. So he leaves and he goes into town and there were a bunch of men that were down by the beach and they were called wreckers. You know what a wrecker is? This is back in the 1800s, okay? So a wrecker were a bunch of people who would kidnap the lighthouse guy so they couldn't light the lights and then it would make the ships wreck. And when they wreck, they'd run down to the beach and they wouldn't help anybody, they would just steal the stuff. They would rob the sailors and they would rob the cargo from the ships. That's why they were called wreckers. So, they were waiting for the father to leave. They saw him go into town and they were hiding behind a bunch of rocks and he came back. They snuck up behind him and they tackled him and they tied him up and put him in the ship. And they knew that his daughter was there, but she wasn't tall enough to be able to light the lights. So Mary's waiting. She looks at the clock, and it was 6 o'clock, and she realized her father should have been home now. So she waits, and she's getting more scared and more nervous. Another half hour passes, and he's not home, and the water starts to rise. 
So even if he was to come home, he's not home soon, he's not going to be able to get across to where the White House was. So she prays to God to help her, to help her father. And now it's almost 7 o'clock, an hour has gone by. The tide has risen. There's no way for him to cross if he could. And she's in the lighthouse by herself. And not only that, but there's a storm that's coming. So if she doesn't light the light, the sailors are going to be out in the storm and not know where the shore is and also where the rocks are. So she prayed and she prayed and she prayed. She thought about what would her mother do. And her mother would tell her that she needed to get the lights lighted. So she found the ladder. She gets up on the ladder. She's still too short. She can't reach to light the wicks. She's thinking, what do I do? What do I do? So she sees a table. She pulls the table over, puts the ladder on top of the table, climbs up on that, and tries to light it, and still is too short. She goes, if I could just find a small stick, because she was almost right there. Almost, but yes, not enough. So she's getting really scared, and she's starting to cry, and she starts to pray again. And she remembered the Bible that her father would read to her every night. Mm -hmm. Now, back then, Bibles weren't like what we use today when you carry them, and these things were big and thick. And she thought, well, that would probably be big enough, but are you allowed to stand on the Word of God? <laughs> She said her father probably wouldn't want her to do that. But she remembers her mother saying that if it's something to save a life, then it's okay. So she rushed downstairs and she got the Bible and she put that. There was the table, then the ladder, and then she put the Bible on top of the ladder and she stood on top of that. And it was just tall enough for her to light the lamps. But she had to keep moving this thing around. And so she lit one, she lit another one, she lit another one. And she lit every one of them. And so that night, no ships were lost. No lives were lost. She had to stay there all night until the morning when her father escaped from that shed. But she saved all those people's lives because, number one, she didn't let her fear stop her from doing what was right, what needed to be done. And she trusted that God would help her. And she stood on the word of God. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you.